Okay, welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday here. Um, just going to start on basics of a race car here, making sure we understand the scaling of how we want to do this at BRP. Um, we got Greg Panetti's car here uh, with Jimmy uh, helping out and getting the car dialed in for next week over at uh, Humberstone Speedway. We uh, first thing we want to do is make sure naturally we're race ready. Um, when I say race ready, I mean basically you're going to start it up, rear end gears are in it, fluids are done. Uh, stagger's done. The only thing I don't ask you to do normally is I don't want to have any ballast weight added on the car yet until we go through that left side percentage, which is very critical on a race car. Uh, we get a lot of phone calls where the customers will call up and say, um, I've asked for 54.2% left side weight, and the customer will say, yeah, well, I'm real close. I got 53.9. Well, that's not 54.2 in our minds. So whether it's Teddy Kirvin or myself that will help you out on the tech end, we certainly want to have 54.2 to 54.4 is our general left side percentage. Um, how we will get that naturally is we got to make sure we got the car race ready again with the proper wheels on the car. We run a 10.4, a 12.5 on the front end, so 10.4 left front, 12.5 right front. We run a 13 inch by 3 inch back set on the left rear and a 14 by 3 inch back set on the right rear. That in turn, if you measure your offset of your rear end, should be a 4 inch offset on the back end. Um, and you can measure that between the center line of the rear end housing to the inside tire side wall on both sides. And you naturally want to have 8 inches greater on the right rear. You are allowed to have 8.5, no more than that. Any more than that, it's illegal. Um, once you get the car back down on the scales and you notice that the scales are reading, say, 53.5, um, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the front end. I want to check the left front shock bolt to the shock tower. And I want to usually put about a half inch clearance or my index finger in between the shock tower and the shock bolt on that left front. Uh, once that's done, then we got to come to the back end. And um, it depends on the race car itself and where you've got weight. Naturally, with the big box, when we have left side oil tanks or left side dry sump tanks, they can achieve that left side percentage very easily. With the cars that have heavier engines on the front end, like the example of big box, sometimes when we can only get limited amount of rear percentage, that might not be able to get the left side percentage we normally need. So, a couple cases here, and actually if we have a proper weight motor for our big block division, and we got a left side oil tank or a left side rear tank, 54.2, 54.3 is very achievable. If we don't get that, we can move the rear end a little bit out of square on the back end. We normally go out the side of the torque arms to the 2x4 to find out how we are for offset. But I'm okay with shortening the right side panel bar, or in this case here when we got a left side panel bar, we're going to lengthen that left side panel bar to the point where we achieve 54.1, 54.2 on, on the scales. Preferably, like I said, I want 54.2 is where I'm goal, going for. Once we've achieved that 54.2% left side weight, no ballast weight added on the car, then we'll start adding lead weight to the race car. Um, when we add the lead weight to the race car, we're going to try and maintain our 54.2% and achieve our proper rear percentage for a big block or small block. Normally a small block car, I want to have around 65 to 65 and a half. If the driver is heavier, I'll lean towards 65%. If he's lighter, like 180 or less, I'll lean towards 65.3 to 65.5% rear weight. We'll add ballast weight, generally speaking, over top of the rear end assembly on the ballast weight bar kit and directly over top of the rear end assembly. Nothing behind the rear end center line because we don't want to tell swing. The lead weight will we'll simulate where we're going to add it. We'll put it over top of the rear deck in the middle of the car, left to right, um, maintaining our left side percentage of 54.2 and hopefully achieving 65.3 for a small block. A big block car, hopefully around 63.5 to 64 is good. If we can get 64.2, that's even better. The, um, the key here is to try and be on weight for the scales, for the racetracks, and go from there. But don't be afraid to either lengthen um, this left side panel bar or shorten the right side panel bar to achieve that that 54.2 before you add lead weight. Once the lead weight's added, over top of the rear end, or if you have to add more weight than that, add it to on top of the 2x4, left and right, equally spaced, maintaining proper balance.